This is why GoPro should be making a new drone. What's going on friends? Today, David and I have in the studio the new GoPro Hero 7 Black Edition. The latest and greatest from GoPro. This thing is toting some insane stabilization. GoPro is calling their new gimbal-like Hyper smooth. I don't know if you've seen David some of the videos that have been filmed in this thing, I have seen but they them. are wild. With this new stabilization, we had an idea. A little bit of Zed. Beep. Check it out. Like we always do. We always have an idea. <laughs> but we all know how GoPro did in the drone game. Do you guys remember the karma? And uh, yeah, things just they didn't go so well. But what if GoPro was still in the drone game? What if they still had a drone? What would a 2018 GoPro drone look like? Could it compete with DJI? Could it be the drone champion? I think that's an idea worth exploring. And here's why. GoPro had one massive thing going for them with the Karma that wasn't really realized. They had a camera, a stabilizer, and a drone that could all be used separately. That's something DJI doesn't have right now. DJI drones are awesome. Dave and I would both use DJI drones all the time, but the downfall of it is they're so expensive and they're really only usable for one thing. You have your action camera and then you have your drone uh, and the drone is really only good for that aerial photography. And this is where the Karma had an amazing advantage to where you can take that action camera off and that stabilizer and use it separately as an action camera. So you could literally film an entire action, amazing shoot with just the Karma if it had worked. So the biggest issue with the Karma was that it was massive and it didn't have the same functionalities and the same speed and sort of precision that DJI has. But if we were to try and create a new GoPro drone by combining the GoPro with a DJI Mavic Air, if we were to combine these two brand new technologies, could we create the ultimate drone, the ultimate tool that is all you need for filming action videos? Let's get this thing out of the box and find out. There you go, the brand new GoPro Hero 7. So we're in the shop right now. We're gonna try and create this drone. We have the GoPro Hero 7 here, obviously, and a brand new Mavic Air. So the idea here is we just attach this to the front like so, and then if it was an actual drone, hopefully it would be able to pivot like this. Maybe we can, you know, kind of get some sort of function where we can do that. But let's see what we can do. go the combination of probably the best drone in existence right now there's the Mavic Pro as well personally huge fan of the Mavic Air due to its portability and size crazy drone can this be upgraded with this new Hero 7 I cannot wait to find out I'm a little worried how that sticky is right there it's kind of on an angle if we could get a longer piece here that would probably be ideal it's looking beautiful so far it's ready for action yep I think so let's do it let's go One last final touch. All right. Now you know it's legit. All right, let's go. <laughs> Got the goods. Woo. Dusty. At one point, all of this land used to be covered in water. Yeah. <laughs> Earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> The worst part about shooting these videos is when we get out here, we never know if the sun is gonna be in a good spot. And right now it's like almost behind that mountain and then there's a giant cloud. So like it's very gray right now. So I don't know what kind of footage we're gonna be getting with this drone, if it works. Might be a little overcast, but what can you do? It'll be a good low light test pretty soon. Right now, we're just waiting for David. Whoa, did you get the part? Did you find it? Is this it? Yeah, that's it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Literal dramatic pause, oh I figured it out. That's the one. All right, boom. Awesome. Let's do it. Reconfiguring our little contraption here. GoPro back on the front. Oh man, look at that. It is oh, absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Boom. 
there we go. It looks like it's ready to rock and roll again. I mean, this is a lot of weight, honestly. Now, like, feel that drone. Like, it's pretty heavy now. Oh, yeah, it's definitely that's, very front heavy. That's a front lot heavy. more heavy. I'm, uh -oh. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen uh -oh. when things <laughs> off. If it does have too much weight, definitely what we can do is we can gorilla tape gorilla tape everything yeah, yeah. just gorilla tape this to the front that would definitely save us a lot of weight this yeah. is so the advantage of this right now is that you can actually change the angle yeah. of the gopro so go, whip, and, point and down, you can yeah you can have different sick. angles and uh we charge the batteries on this right <laughs> moment of truth we did it's uh, on 4k 60 fps and we haven't tried out the actual like stabilization on this yet, so it'll be interesting to see. It will how be it a test of fire, a baptism of fire. Yeah, so this is on. I can turn the drone on right now, and I guess we'll just go for it. Let's grab the remote. Let's here do it, and send it. And see what happens. Woo! Let's do it. My favorite part of flying drones <laughs> calibration. <laughs> calibration failed. Gosh, dang it. Dang. Rotate vertically. All right, let's boot it up, ready to go. I guess we should start recording on the GoPro first and then uh, take it off. So there you go. The GoPro is filming and uh, yeah, we're ready to rock. So I'm gonna take it off and we'll see if I can even fly. I'm just wa wa ready for it to just dip into the earth. Like I'm scared. <laughs> Moment of truth, will it work? Right. Oh, there we go, now it's good. Oh, oh. So, okay, ready? Yeah. I'm gonna let go. Whoa! It it's flying. working so far. It like flew out of my hands because it thinks there's so much wind because of that weight, yeah. right? Okay, so it is filming right there. I'm gonna try and get some shots of it now. I can't see what it's filming right now because obviously the GoPro's in front. Oh, you know what we should do? We should get a phone to connect to the GoPro to see what it's seeing. So yeah. that'll probably be ideal. Let's try and fly this for now and see what we can get for now. It looks pretty good. Dude, that's impressive. I don't wanna go over the water yet just yeah, because. Uh... Uh, what should I film here? I'm gonna go on this ridge here. I'm gonna get it to follow me. So just, just kind of follow me a little behind. Yo, it's doing it! It's doing really good, like so far so good, dude. I mean, it's doing really well, like so it's far so really good. doing really well, dude. We don't know exactly what it's seeing, but I mean, it looks pretty sick. So the cool thing about the GoPro is that it, it's wide angle, so it's probably seen a lot. Let's try and do a cool circle shot. It circles around. Far away, it, like look at that. Like, it seems look at the shot of the like, 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 I'm so curious what this footage looks like. <laughs> Should I try a water shot? Dare I? Should I try it? Try it. Let's do it. Send it. Going over the water. Here we go. I'm gonna get nice and low. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Nice and low to the water. I think it's way back up. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's coming. It's coming this way. Here comes, here comes, here comes. Beautiful. Dude. Is this the best drone oh. ever? I don't know, dude. Also, the front sensors are still are working. Yeah. Still working. Dude, it's working perfectly. It's pretty good, dude. It's pretty good. All right, so it's beeping on me right now. I'm going to land it. Woo. There we go. First successful flight with the GoPro drone. And the advantage of this is that now you can take off the GoPro. Exactly. Now, let's say I got my drone shots. All I have to do is just take this little guy right here. It's a little tight. <laughs> a little tight. Boom. Ah, and there we go. And we're I can ready. Continue shooting with the GoPro right here. Give me a shot of that. That's the drone right there. Boom, boom. I can continue shooting with this and get some sick shots. I think we should test this a bit more and see exactly what it's capable of. So you guys can attach the drone like this, right? And you can fly it up to your vehicle and then pop this thing off, attach it to your vehicle and continue from there. Could make for some really sick stuff that you just can't do with a DJI. You can do a transition, obviously, with a DJI, but you're transitioning from the DJI's camera to a different camera. It's gonna look different. And that means you have to have two cameras. With exactly. this, all you would need would be this one unit. So, oh, this is so cool. I'm sorry to do this work. Why don't we hit a few more different locations and see if we can get some kind of cool shots. I wanna try transitioning from this right to this and see if we can like get a cool shot all right back to the car let go before the water comes up too fast well, yeah. like, you know it's coming oh, it's coming we gotta run it's, it's pretty far pain it? oh, yeah. uh, i think we're good <laughs> <laughs> ah,
Ready? So we are back out here. Ugh. We found a cool little location to do some more GoPro filming. By the way, I brought Levi this time. What's up? We're gonna try and climb up this kind of hill over here and get some sick GoPro slash drone shots. We did a little bit of drifting on the way here, a little bit of splashing through some water, some cool shots. There was a sick road coming in that we got some shots with the DJI and also with the uh, with the GoPro. So I'm curious to see the kind of comparison between the two of those. For now, let's go hike up here and see if we can get some more cool shots. All right, so let's go and uh, climb this hill. Let's Go get it. The GoPro's on Levi's head right now. We're gonna see if we can kind of do a transition from the running to Levi's head. Should be sick. Hey, hey. let's crazy. go. Yeah, I mean, if we go over this side, even then, it's not the best. Yo, this is dope. This is actually so cool. We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for We found that. Yeah, Lamo! Package secured. Don't, don't pass me. Yeah, I'm putting my pocket. Package secure on my way down. Hey. He's been through a lot, but he's still. Hey, Lamo. Ah.
All right, guys, this was this week's experiment. Something a little bit different this week. We didn't destroy something. We created something, which yeah. I, I don't know how I feel about that, but... I don't uh, know. I want to hear what you guys think. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. After seeing all that test footage, all that, like, you know, kind of GoPro comparison with the Mavic, after seeing all those tests, um, what's the verdict? Like, do you think the what's GoPro... What's the verdict? Yeah. Is the GoPro... Does GoPro has something to offer in the drone game? Can yeah. it compete with the Mavic? It's hard to say because... It, DJI has such a monopoly on the market right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. But as we proved today, you don't need a massive drone in order to carry the GoPro. Like you don't need a drone the size of the Karma and you don't need a gimbal either. You don't need a gimbal. The fact that we are able to get such good footage yeah. with our very improvised yeah. setup like makes you wonder what would be possible with an actual GoPro manufactured drone. GoPro yeah. Drone. The GoPro Hero 7 camera is such a great camera. Hyper smooth is the real thing. Some of the footage just of me running looks like it's on a drone because it's so freaking stable. If this technology wasn't the iPhone, that would be game changer. I think it's crazy too because you can now get shots on a hypothetical GoPro drone that you couldn't get on a Mavic. Absolutely. So like we went through, we did a bunch of different tests as you can see, and uh, you know we started out we didn't really know if the drone would even be able to carry the GoPro yeah. and if the stabilization would be good enough to warrant not having that gimbal. I feel like the the problem with the first footage we took is just uh, placing the camera in yeah. the right angle. The footage itself, the quality of the it's image good, was yeah. good. The stabilization is good, quality of the image is good. It was just a matter of like getting the right uh, angle. Exactly, yeah. Which I believe we did the following day. Later on, yeah. Also, the thing with the first day too is it was a little bit overcast. It was like kind of overcast yeah. the whole time we are shooting. A, it was a low light test yeah. as well. It wasn't really optimal situation as far as the video quality goes, but you can see in the other tests, the GoPro quality is amazing. Yeah. Like the video quality, I don't know what magic GoPro does on their advertisements, but the GoPro footage they can get with this is incredible and you can even see some of the footage we got just holding it with our, with a stick or just running around like my brother had some first person footage that we did yeah, it was absolutely. really cool also you get 60 fps slow-mo which mm. was really cool we did some tests with that and uh, overall there are just some really cool things that you can do with this um, that, that you cannot do, do with the, the Mavic. Mavic. Yeah, we did show a bunch of Mavic footage as well, though. We kind of did a little comparison. Oh, yeah. And obviously, or we got a little better footage with the Mavic because we could see what we are doing. Honestly, yeah. like the Mavic footage will look better than our improvised GoPro drone footage simply because the, the Mavic was created, was engineered for those kind of shots, yeah. while ours was a, a little, little bit, roundabout. Yeah. But however, if GoPro were to manufacture something like this, where it's yeah. like intended to work the way you would uh, work a drone. If it was the same size as the Mavic and had yeah. the same speed and functionality, whatever. Um, then, which is yeah, possible, then, which is possible. We, yeah. I feel like that's what we proved. We proved it's it possible works, to yeah. have a little drone, super portable, with a GoPro Hero 7. On the, and without a gimbal, and it carries it without and runs completely fine. And yeah, you can get some really cool shots. Like with the 60 FPS slow-mo, and that sort of like first person angle, you can get shots that you can't get with a gimbal. Because the gimbal shots are always perfectly steady. You can't get those cool angles and stuff. Like Absolutely. it's more of like an action camera type. An tape. action camera in the air. Yeah, exactly. And again, like if you guys could purchase right now a DJI Mavic Air um, that came with a GoPro, yeah. It's like seems like a no-brainer. If it was the same price Absolutely. and you had a GoPro as well, it seems like you're you're gaining so much more because you can do those first person shots and GoPro whatever. has definitely value to offer yeah. if they ever uh, decided to come back in the uh, in the drone game. Exactly. We know the troubles GoPro has been having yeah. lately, so we don't know if this is something that's gonna happen. We're also not suggesting that this is something you should do yeah. at home because at the end of the day, like if you already have a Mavic and yep. you have a GoPro, just, just use them as they are intended. Yep. This was a proof of concept. If these two work together in a single bundle, yeah. That would be some That'd be amazing. awesome. Imagine value. DJI and GoPro working together. <laughs> Sadly, right now, yeah, don't go out and buy a DJI Mavic and a GoPro yeah, and no. put them together. It's just no. Uh, you, you, you should totally go ahead buy a Mavic and a GoPro. Yeah, buy both. Of just, them. just you know, use them how separately. Yeah, yeah separately. you can get some, some pretty good footage as we showed today. But yeah, anyway, that's it basically for this episode of Tech Kaboom. Hit that bell, be notified of our new uploads, and I guess we'll see you guys next, next Monday. Monday. See you then.